Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. In this session we'll discuss about the PowerPoint tips and tricks that would help you to work very fast. There are certain tips that we are going to discuss in this session. For example, open PowerPoint fast, use the templates from office.com make a slide from the single bullet, crop a picture, zoom with your mouse, reuse a slide from another presentation, use a slide shorter view, insert a screenshot, insert a screen clipping, show or hide the ribbon and use the quick access toolbar. These are certain options that would really make the work faster. We'll discuss about the open PowerPoint first, the first point the normal uh, way to open the PowerPoint is that you click on the windows then you click on all program and then you want to search for the MS office and then again you are going to select the PowerPoint presentation the alternative would be press the windows and R key on your keyboard windows R key together and it's going to open the run window here you have to write PowerPoint P O W E R P and T now press OK and it's going to open up a new presentation for you now you can start working on it the tip second is use a template from office.com click on the file tab then select new you'll get a lot of options available here office.com templates the charts computer education so as per your interest you can select any of the folder and it's going to show you certain templates here you can download the templates say we want to download a presentation let's try to do it click on the presentation uh, let's say we select this business plan presentation click on this and click on download it's going to take some time it will download the stuff in the folder ok this is the presentation we have got company name business plan and this is the logo here it give you certain indications to create the presentation then mission statement clearly state your company's long-term mission so in this way it's giving you certain guidelines to create the presentation the team the maker okay so uh, you can enter your own stuff here and create the presentation very quickly and easily with the help of these guidelines and with the help of these uh, with the help of these template so this is how you download a template very fast from office.com and you will get certain guidelines to create the presentation then third we have is make a slide from a single bullet for example you have written a lot of points here I want to create a slide a separate slide for the last point use the quick access toolbar and I want to demonstrate it so what I have to do is I need to insert a blank slide here click on new slide and then I'm going to select this then I am going to copy and paste the content I'm going to copy this content and I'll paste it here instead of that I have another option I'll click on the outline view okay I'll click on the outline view and this is the option I want to select use the quick access toolbar this one and I want to create a separate slide for this so I'll place my cursor here and press the shift and tab key together and I have got a new slide I'll place my cursor here then shift and tab I have created a new slide now I'll demonstrate for this particular uh, for this particular subject and write the matter so in this way in a single click you can create a new slide from a bulleted point so this option is gone from here and that has been used for a new slide the next is crop a picture to a shape let me insert a picture first of all um, let's say I'm taking this particular slide I want to insert a picture
okay I have this picture available and I want to format it so first of all I have to insert I have to select this picture click on the format tab and you have an option available to crop it click on the crop crop to shape these are the shapes available on which I can crop this picture to so I have cropped this picture you can select any shape crop to the shape to crop this picture the next option we have is zoom with your mouse now suppose you are working on this you want to zoom on a particular object press the control key on your keyboard and then roll the mouse if you roll it upwards then you're going to zoom for the object and if you roll that on the down direction then it's going to minimize that suppose we want to focus on a particular object you can select this then press the control key and try to zoom it with the help of the mouse you want to zoom on this particular text where it is okay let's write something here text you want to zoom on this text place a cursor here press on the control key and then again zoom yeah. the more you are going to zoom it's going to focus on the particular text so in this way with the help of the mouse you can quickly zoom in and zoom out the next option we have is reuse a slide from another presentation suppose you already have created the slide and then you want to use it quickly here then click on the home tab then select the new slide this is the option we have a lot of options available here and then the last option is reuse the slide click on this now it give you some options here we'll select open a powerpoint file click here and browse the file suppose we select this uh, yeah now you have got a list of all these slides when you're going to place your cursor here it's going to show you the enlarged image of the file so whatever you want to you want to insert uh, the slide here you can double click on this and the slide would be inserted here you will double click and the slide would be inserted so now let's remove these two this is a quick way to insert the slide in your presentation otherwise you need to open up the other presentation you're going to copy it or you're going to move these slides to a different way then other we have is use the slide shorter view if you want to rearrange these slides then what you are going to do is you will place your cursor here you can click and then you will drag around to the position you may feel that you are moving here and there you are not able to like place it on a proper location in the one go the alternate you have is that click on the slide shorter view we have the view available now you can click on the slide and you can easily place it to some other location like here or it's going to show you a line here so accordingly you will place the slide anywhere else like suppose you want to move two slides together you can select both of them together press the control key select the first slide then press control key and two or three slides together now click on the slide and where do you want to move it suppose we want to move it to the end leave it here all these are placed in the in the last of the presentation so with the help of the slide shorter view you can sort your slides properly and easily 
let's go back to the normal view now then if you want to insert a screenshot click on insert and you have the option available here screenshot click on this you will get the available screenshots available uh, currently there is no open window so it's not going to show you any screenshot let me open up a google window now if we click on the screenshot it show you one window here google window this is the only window which is open in the background right now if you have two or three files open it's going to show you all those windows you can click here and the screenshot would be inserted let me insert a new slide first okay now suppose if i want to insert a screenshot select the window available and the window is selected window is copied and uh, here then the other option we have is let's remove it if we want the screen clipping let me show you first we have learned about inserting the screenshot if we wa you want to insert a screen clipping then once again click on insert click on the screenshot and select screen clipping this is the only available screen here so it it has directly took to this particular place place your cursor here and select the window you want to insert we want to insert this portion only leave it and that would be inserted in your window so this is a quick way to insert the screenshots or the uh, the images if you have some open image in the background you can clip that image and insert it directly here the next we have is show or hide the ribbon if you want more space to work then we can show or hide the ribbons as well you can click on this mark the ribbon is gone if you click on the home tab then it's going to show you all the commands but otherwise if you're working with these slides then it's not going to show you the commands and rest of the things if you click on this button once again it's going to show you the ribbon so it's going to hide and it's going to show you the ribbon then the last option we have is use the quick access toolbar the best option to work quickly whatever command you are using in a very quick way it's better to add it here we have added a lot of commands here these are the three default commands the save undo and redo option we have added a printer also like suppose if you want to add uh, some theme or some design here so what you can do is right click on this and add gallery to the quick access toolbar select this and now you have got all the themes on the quick access toolbar now you need not to browse through the tab suppose you are here you need not to click on the design and to browse all the themes directly from the quick access bar you can click here and select the theme so whatever option you are going to use in a frequent way you can add those in the quick access toolbar suppose after completing the presentation you have a immediate need to print it so let's add the printer option the quick print option here for doing that right click and select customize quick access toolbar you will get a list of all the commands here select the the quick printer that we have already added here quick print yeah this is the option select this click on add it's going to show you the option here and then click on ok we have already added this so in this way with the help of quick access toolbar also you can work very quickly on the powerpoint so these are certain tips and tricks by which you can save a lot of time while working on the powerpoint so that was it for today's session thanks everyone thank you for watching edupedia world videos